This is John Turner McClelland with Cooper Mac Realty Group, powered by Worth Clark Realty. I'm here today with Jill Bakey with Kaboom Chakalaka here in Plano. How, Jill, how are you doing today? I am great. How are you doing? Great. So I wanted to get you on here to explain to everyone um, what Kaboom Chakalaka is, what it can help do for them. Um, here in Plano and the surrounding area and how you got started with it. Um, okay. So you do live in Plano area, right? Yes. Yeah. We're, we've been here now about in the Plano area for about 11 years now. Cool. And you were telling me off camera that you came to Texas from North Dakota for school. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so my parents still live in North Dakota, but my sisters are here. So we do have some family here, that, but they have opted not to move yet. <laughs> right. And you're like me. You've been trapped here <laughs> for everyone else yes. in Texas that might be watching this. <laughs> so what did you, when did you start Kaboom Chakalaka? So it's been a little over three years now that I've I formalized the business. Prior to that, I was kind of just experimenting with it. So, but um, we had, it was three years in April of this year. So I've been doing it for a few years now. There's actually two parts to Kaboom Chocolaka. So the first part is um, creating these breakable chocolate pinatas. So like the art outside is like a hard candy shell and then the inside is filled typically with candy, but it doesn't have to be. And then the person gets to smash them open to reveal the goodies inside. So that's the first part of it. And then the second part is actually really new, but um, I have a partnership with Michaels in American Crafts and we're creating these 3D chocolate molds. So everybody can now create their own and experience the joy. So it's, it's a super exciting time for me. Oh, cool. So do you have molds that you use yourself to actually make the, the candy pinatas? Yeah, so um, I typically do use uh, a lot of molds. Some, some I try to do free form as best as I can and things like that, but they typically start this cabinet behind me holds um, a bunch of them, but not all of them. But um, some of the ones that Michaels will have will be some of like the basic ones to, that everybody can start with, like a cupcake, a football, a heart, things like that. So and I was looking on your website, you call yourself the purveyor of pinata surprises. Is that your <laughs> official title? <laughs> I, yes, I've, I've um, my self-proclaimed title. So um, a lot of people are doing, uh, making these now. And, and I feel like, you know, I'm the original of the DFW area. Cause when I first started this, I did see, um, I did some research just to see who else was doing it. And initially I couldn't find anybody in the DFW area doing it. I couldn't find anybody in Texas doing it. So then I started looking across the US and really only found like a handful of people that were creating these pinatas. So I kind of took, um, took myself as their original purveyor and I have um, a lot of different um, variety and options, but that you know comes with three years of experience, so. <laughs> Right. I, I was looking at your website, different ones that you had. It looks like a great idea. I would have never thought of it myself either, other than going yeah. out and buying a traditional pinata and beating the crap out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when I first started it, I spent a lot of time trying to explain what they were and tried to settle like on a term that would make sense to like everybody. And so it it. I, I just remember spending just a, a lot of time to explain what a chocolate pinata was because it was no one was familiar with it. And um, so, yeah, it's it's definitely growing. It's become a lot more popular. So I've, I'm doing a little less explaining and just showing the designs. And it's fun because it's each one can be personalized for the person. So there's not like a across the board option. <laughs> right. And I was reading you. You don't use fondant, so it actually holds up pretty well if you're just using chocolate. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't personally like the taste of fondant, and everybody I talked to didn't like it. So I just stayed away from that completely and just um, worked with chocolate or meltables and things like that to, you know, candies and other things that I could work with and um, just went from there. So it's a, I, it's a fondant-free zone over here. <laughs> 
yeah I, I don't like the taste of it either it looks pretty and that's about it <laughs> it's like, yeah that's it's for show it, not for eating exactly that was my personal feeling on it too as well right so if someone wanted to create one or what kind of lead time do you need for to do something for somebody yeah, it just, it really depends on what it is. Like if it's something similar to what I've done before, then it's probably around maybe three, three, four days. Or if it's something like a lot more customized, then, you know, um, it might be a week or something just to kind of decide on the design. But when people call, we work through that process. And my website has a lot on it, but it doesn't have everything on it because I'm constantly creating. And so I probably at this point even still have like 50 new creations that I could put out there. And so that's just kind of, the website is like a basis to show, you know, kind of my style, what I can do and things like that. But yeah, we, um, you know, just give me a call and we'll we'll walk through it. So if you don't see something on the website, we. Definitely, I can definitely um, work and think of something. So I always have a bunch of ideas running through my head. I just don't have all the time to create them all. <laughs> I tend to use Instagram stories a lot. So if I'm not posting, you can always check out my Instagram stories to see what I'm working on. And that's um, that's been like a good source to kind of like show the process of creating one and giving some tips and tricks and um, just seeing, you know, a variety of new designs and, you know, an occasional funny chocolate meme here and there, you know, you can't, you no. can't go without posting some memes. I was going to ask also what you did before you decided to make chocolate pinatas and why you decided to make that switch. Yeah. So, um, I guess the, the launching pad was, um, well, it was around like four years ago and I was working for a Fortune 500 company. I um, was an accountant for them. <laughs> so very different than what I'm doing now. But um, my son at the time, he, um, he was going through like some medical issues and we weren't quite sure at that time what they meant. So I felt like I was beating my head at home, beating my head at work. And um, I decided to resign, which is very unlike me because I'm a nose to the grindstone type of person. But I decided to resign and then his birthday was coming up. So now I'm you know, at home with him and he's about to turn three. So I was like, okay, I need to figure out, you know, how to celebrate and just happened upon a late, a video of a lady in Australia creating one of these. And I thought, oh, that would be cool, you know, like for him to smash it, you know, he's a boy, loves smashing things, whatever. And so I was up all night creating my very first one <laughs> and, um, Obviously with the molds we have now, they're a lot easier to do that you don't have to spend like the whole entire night creating them. But he got so much joy out of smashing his first one that, and like we only had like a couple of people here for his birthday, like mainly just family. And they all went like, whoa. And I was like, okay, as an accountant, I never got that reaction from anything I did. So I thought that was pretty neat. Oh. And then, like, don't get that reaction, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, saving the company money, you might get like a pat oh. on the back, but that's about it, you know? So, um, so I was like, oh, well, that was kind of cool. And then from there, um, you know, create created more for my family, for my friends. And then it just, every time I did, someone's like, you really should make a business out of this. And I decided to formalize it, um, took a few months to come up with the name. And then from there, it's just been a great journey ever since. I mean, just, you know, just getting to be able to create and, um, and then obviously been being able to work with Michaels and American Craft has been just phenomenal. Like, can't even imagine like this journey would have taken me to um, a partnership with them. So you are actually the reason why I can um, give this information or provide this information is because starting July 23rd, our mold, the molds and stuff will be in store. So like they'll have like Kaboom Chocolata's name on it. And, um, and so there'll be smashers to go with it. And like here, for example, is one of the heart ones is the mold. So they're just um, so super exciting. They're really, we spent um, a lot of time designing them and making sure that they were just really easy to use for everybody. So even though, you know, my first one, not having one of these molds, I spent the entire night do doing it, that 
is definitely not the case anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to make it easier for people to do it. Otherwise, they don't want to, which is yeah, where you yeah. come in. You start your own business and then make it easier for everyone else. Yeah, and I have I love like sharing the tips and the tricks and the knowledge because I, I really do get so much joy from it. And I often will say like, I don't know who gets more joy from it, like me creating them or the person being able to break something and get a treat from it. Like I, I have so much, get so much joy creating them and giving it to somebody else to get joy out of that. I just, I love that now it will be more accessible for anybody to do it, you know? You know, my kids like so my son has turned six now and um, so his seventh birthday is coming up and every single year they've asked for one and I'll even like offer like, oh, well, do you want cupcakes or a cake? And they're like, no, can you create this pinata for me? So in our household, it has not gotten old. I do get a lot of repeat customers. Um, you know, they just once if you know, you know, once you smash one, then, you know, <laughs> so those products for Michael's you're showing me are is this the first place you've shown them on video? yeah <laughs> actually yes so really? I it, it just so happened to line that today is like the first day that I can you know like I said we've been working on it for a year but the first day that since they're going to be in store very soon that I could um you know, start telling people outside of, you know, my very close knit family and get to um, show them and stuff like that. So yeah, you have um, cool. breaking Plano I got, news. I got the scoop. <laughs> breaking you news sure news did. Yeah. Without even knowing it. Um, well, I'm honored that, that you'll be debuting that on my, my feed. <laughs> Love that, um, you know, you focus on the Plano community and you know, bringing Plano together as far as, you know, I've, we definitely, you know, sense that Plano is changing and of course has expanded so much in the years we've lived here. And so it's, um, you know, sometimes it's just hard to get to know your neighbor. So, you know, it's yeah. great to have sources like this, but then on, in this world, it's like, I finally realized that creativity breeds more creativity. And so, you know, some of the first things that I started out and just only had a handful of ideas to do something. And now I'm just constantly, I feel like I'm just constantly, you know, thinking of new things and different things and want to try this and do this. And, and it just, so I do feel like once I've been submerged into something, it just, it's amazing what you know, comes out, out of that, you know, so I, I still like accounting and, and, and spreadsheets and stuff like that, but it is, is, is truly how, you know, kind of dusted off the creativity part of my brain. And it's, you know, the, it's synapsing <laughs> right. Guess right now. <laughs> Work the whole brain. That's what we yeah. <laughs> Not yep. just the uh, spreadsheet one. <laughs> Yep, exactly. <laughs> well, Jill, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me and everyone watching today um, and giving us the scoop on your, your new adventures. Yeah. Uh, we'll have links in the description on YouTube and on the Park Bench website so people can go check out your social media and get in touch with you. Awesome. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. And Thanks. thank you for um, the great questions, too. <laughs> no problem. Everyone, thanks for watching. Again, this is John Turner McClelland, Cooper Mac Realty Group with Worth Clark Realty. Everyone have a great day. Yeah, bye.